Rothschild family, they took the gold of the people and gave them the promissory notes as a shape of a dollar bill today, you can call it, or any currency in those days. And like a covenant or like an agreement that please give us this gold and we will give you equivalent amount of paper currency as an intrinsic value of your gold. After that, they saw these opportunities to control the system through one unit, banks. Banking system came into existence. Policies were there. Calculations and arithmetics were there. But you need to manipulate to get the evil gains out of it. To mint some money. So they stashed gold. They stashed gold from all around the people, from all over the world, wherever they can be from Europe, Europa. And from there, they took unfair advantage. And after that, of course, you know, people went, generations gone. Nobody knows who took from who promissory note, who gonna go follow and catch up. No time for this. So let's make the system that paper currency is the primary source of buying and selling or trade. Done. Agreed upon. All those capitalistic societies, especially the giants of capitalists or these people. Now, this is the beginning because I cannot go into the back of the history. I have to start from, from somewhere. So I started from here. History started. Rothschild family, Jewish people, wise people, no doubt. Ghulam and Alima, the children of knowledge, intellectual people, no doubt. We agree on that. But intellectual people does not mean that they are the winners of the world. Intellectualism is related to the materialistic world, which is now we are living in. Physical sciences, not metaphysical sources. So, there they started it. Now, I have to educate you, otherwise I'm not, I'm failing on my duty. What is the meaning of capitalism? Please understand, capital in English means money. Simple. The sources of money or anything which you have a source of money. Capitalism means money. But when you say, sorry, capital, but when you say capitalism, it is a political terminology used for economics. 